thank you for joining me. Now, today I've got two special guests. I've got Chad from Chad's Beer Reviews. Hello. Hi. And we've got Simon. Hello, everyone. The Real Ale Guides. Thank you. Hello. Nice to join you. Good. I don't think he's that special of a guest. He's around all the time. Yeah, he, he is. You're right. You're right. Now, today we're going to do um, a special beer, Innocent Gun. Original. Original. <laughs> Thanks, Chad. <laughs> now, we met Dougal from, from um, Innocent Gun and Adam on Tuesday. So, we're going to do this today with Chad as a thank you uh, for the great interview they gave. Yeah. Yeah, and here's my glass. And here's my glass. <laughs> I have an English pint glass. I want a cool okay. glass like that. Yeah, they are quite cool. Can we have a look at the cap on your beer, Chad? And we'll show the cap off on there. Yeah, it, it actually is a pretty cool cap. Yeah. It is. Actually. It's the I same, like, yeah. I like the star. The star on there. Okay. Hey, it doesn't have the uh, don't drink if you're pregnant warning on it. Oh, yeah. Does it have one? Yeah. Where? Oh, it doesn't, it doesn't have one. Have it. <laughs> doesn't have one here. That's, you know, that's just in case you're pregnant and you want to have a drink. Didn't you nearly make a mistake once when? I did. I really did. Very, very <laughs> nearly. I, I picked up a bottle. I was very thirsty. And there it was. In fact, I'll show you. Just about to have a beer. You see? <laughs> and if it wasn't for this... Little... Little fat lady. Tiny fat lady. <laughs> Mel would be drinking I, whilst pregnant. <laughs> and I'd have a poorly baby now. Thank goodness for health and safety. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so you ready to get pouring? Yeah, come on, so let's Chad, get this beer over. Chad, wait a sec. Do you not have that many bottles of beers over there? No, it, they have it, it's just in text. There's no picture. Oh, right, I see. <laughs> According to the Surgeon General, women should not drink alcoholic beverages during pregnancy. The Surgeon General, what's that? It's a law. It's a law. It's the, it's the top doctor in the country. I oh. see. Ah, oh, there we go. Just another That's bureaucrat. Right. Okay. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Let's get this beer open. Shall we open it? Yep. So I'm new to that. Uh, I'm, I'm a bit used to the BB. Oh, it's skunky. I can smell it already. Oh, oh no. no. Skunky. Oh, that smells good to me. That smells really good to me. Look at an aggressive pour on here. What's yours like? What do you think? That, oh, that's, it does smell good. I got a nice looking beer here. It's a, uh, they said on the bottle it's like honey colored. Yeah. I would agree with that. It's a dark honey. It's it's very very clear, totally filtered, you know. And you can see the carbonation there. Can you see? Yeah. It's a nice head as well. Yeah, yeah it's a uh, small bubbles, nice brownie. Would you say amber in color, Chad? Yeah, it's definitely an amber honey color. Yeah. You you don't. How's almost, it smell? You'd kind of mistake it for looking like whiskey, wouldn't you? Almost. Uh, I don't really drink whiskey, so I wouldn't really know. <laughs> Might mistake it for, like, apple juice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fizzy apple juice. So what nose have you got there, Chad? Ugh. <laughs> smells like Heineken. Oh, no. It smells good. We are, no, to be honest, skunky? I haven't got any skunk. I've kept this bottle, this clear bottle. It's been, it's been in, in the a, dark. Yeah, it's been in a dark cupboard for a couple of months. So, so. I... I'm trying to see if there's a bottling date on here. Mm. So this here is a 6.6% ABV. Yeah. Which is quite strong, isn't it? For a beer. I get like, if I really try hard, I can smell like vanilla. And there is kind of like a whiskey kind of smell to it. Yeah. I can smell sweetness. I can smell yeah, sweetness. yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so you guys ready to dig in here? Yeah, okay. Ready. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Well, it tastes a lot better than it smells, I'll tell you that. <laughs> that has been blended very, very well. That 
tastes really good. I thought that it was going to be really bitter. To, to actually go with how strong it is, I yeah. was expecting it to be a lot more bitter than that, but it's quite sweet. Yeah. Yeah, I get like, I get a lot of vanilla, a, a lot of vanilla, um, and like kind of like a spiced rum kind of taste in there. Yeah. Um, you do get like kind of an oaky, woody quality. It's an yeah, oak aged beer. It says smooth Scottish beer with natural hints of toffee, vanilla, and oak. Mm. I would agree with that. I definitely get some like toffee candy. Yeah, I do. I pick up the toffee, I think, more than I do the vanilla. Toffee, vanilla, as you say, there's hints of oak. And the, the whiskey taste mm. in there for me is... Kind of at the back of your tongue. Yes, yeah, right at the back yeah. of the palate, isn't it, Chad? Yeah, right as you finish it. Oh. <laughs> I'm just going to wash mine round. Get the nose like Chad was just doing. I'm I, I'm noticing that the beer is, like mine's like completely tepid now. So it's like, the mouthfeel on it is kind of thin and like, actually kind of like wet feeling. It's not a dry beer at all. No. Um, it's kind of refreshing while it's in your mouth, but it, it's not really refreshing afterwards. It's um it, it it's a little more mild than I would prefer. But again, it might have to give them benefit of the doubt because it might be an old bottle. I mean, it was definitely skunked, but you know that might have affected the flavor. I don't mind. I don't think mine skunks. No. To be perfectly honest, honest, um, the beer because we've kept it in the dark, it's it's been okay in a clear bottle. I'd like to ask you a question while we're here, Chad, if you don't mind, and that is. The stronger the alcohol with the beer, even if it's in a clear bottle, is it less likely to skunk up? No, it's based more on hops than alcohol. So That's that the what skunking is the hop oil. That's a good clarification actually, because that would explain why whiskey in a clear bottle doesn't skunk, because you're saying it's yeah. due to the hops. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. So that's yeah. Now, where did this actually come from? Was this sent to us by Innes and Ben? Oh, yeah, while we're here, um, we'll, we'd like to thank Innes and Gun. If this was sent to us by Innes and Gun and it's then since been in a dark cupboard, oh, yeah, yeah, you yeah. can say <laughs> that's probably why it hasn't been skunk. Yeah, um, that's absolutely. But, yeah, go on, sorry. Well, yeah, well, while we're here, um, I'd like to give a message out to Innocent Gun, because he will be watching this. We'll send him a video over the next day or two. Chad is probably the biggest beer reviewer on YouTube in the whole world, I imagine. And our <laughs> inspiration. Yeah, and our inspiration. We watch a lot of your videos. So um, it's great, well, for us to go on your show and vice versa. We'll put this up on our show. Um, I'm, it's a pleasure for me to go on Mrs. Real Our Guy's channel to do this beer. Dougal, this is a fantastic brew. Yeah, Adam. And Adam Sargent. Adam, nice to meet you the other day. It's not John. You make a great beer. Cheers. Yeah, if you're if we're talking to the people at Innocent Gun, I'll I'll give them a message too. Don't use clear bottles. <laughs> stupid. <laughs> okay. I mean, it's fine for maybe people in UK because it doesn't sit around long enough to get skunked up, but. By the time it gets to America, it's skunky. If I wanted Heineken, I would have drank bought Heineken. Yeah. Um, use use brown bottles or cans, which are even better. But yeah, I mean, aside from that, it's a it's a good beer. I think that if I was drinking this as fresh as you guys are, maybe like on tap, it'd probably be like amazing. Yeah. But I think as of like this serving right here and now, it's like a six. You know, it's okay. I can give it a thumbs up, but Six. that's about it. Because it's Mal's channel, I'm going to review mine next, and then I'll let Mal give a final rating. This will probably be Mal's first rating. She yeah. has not rated a beer yet out of ten, so I'm going to give my out of ten first. For me, I love the whiskey taste. I love the vanilla, the caramel, the oak taste. I like the styling of the bottle, I like the company, I like the people, so all in all, I'm going to go very high with this, I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10. 
And if it's an 8 yeah. out of 10, our bottle has not been skunked up at all. We've got a, a fresh bottle here. So, over to Mel for her first ever rating. Okay, what do <laughs> I think about it then? Let's have another taste. Yeah, I like the fact that it's 6.6% uh, alcohol, is that right? Yeah. And you don't really know that. And another thing, it's not too bitter, because I, although I like the bitter taste that comes along with a good beer, I don't like it to be too bitter. So yeah, I'm happy with that. I like the sweetness of it too. So I probably, yeah, I'm, I'm going to give it a 9. 9 out of yeah. 10? Yeah, 9 out of 10, why not? 9 out of 10. Okay, Chad, yeah, I can you... see that. Like, if I had this like fresh and it was like way stronger tasting, I could see that. But yeah. you know, I gotta go by what I got, and this yeah. is only like a six right here. I do like the vanilla, the whiskey flavors in there, but like just my serving is a little flat and mild for my preference. Plus, it's skunky, so there's like a sour tang in the palate too. So it's like a little bit of astringency in there, you know. But I mean, otherwise, it's a good beer. Well, it's been great to have you on the show, Chad. On yep. Mel's, on <laughs> Mel's show. I got, I got confused. I got confused. I'm hogging her channel. Hog. Um, Mel's going to give you the chance now to plug all your websites. Yes, go ahead, Chad. Where can we find um, you? YouTube.com slash Chad's Beer Reviews. Twitter slash Chad9976. Uh, my other YouTube channel is YouTube.com slash Chad9976. And... Uh, uh, Facebook.com slash Chad's Beer Reviews and Chad's Beer Reviews.com. Great. Absolutely. <laughs> this loads there. Thanks for having, thanks for joining us, Chad. Yeah, thank you. And cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Bye. Bye. Bye.